At Kelly Companies, it is no secret that they believe in the power of people. In an effort to help their Keelians get to know each other a little bit better, they decided to launch the Who Do You Know campaign. The goal was simple. Keelians were encouraged to have a conversation with someone outside of their circle. That's it. These conversations, however, have brought people together and farthered their world-class culture. Shout out to the Keelians who have made an effort to have meaningful conversations with new friends. You can learn more about those conversations, about those amazing friends, by visiting them online at KeelyCompanies.com. Welcome to the Live Inspired Podcast with John O'Leary. John is the number one national best-selling author of the book On Fire. He's a world-class inspirational speaker, and he's the host of the Live Inspired Podcast. John interviews extraordinary individuals on their life story so that you can wake up from accidental living and more fully live your life story. Here's your host, John O'Leary. Well, hello, my friends, and thank you, Joe Buck and the Live Inspired community for joining me on this Thursday. You know, we have listeners from all over the globe, from my own backyard here in St. Louis to St. Martin's, from New England to New Zealand, from Indiana, what's up, Indiana, to friends living over in India. Well, regardless of where you are tuning in from today, here in the United States, we're celebrating one of my absolute favorite holidays. The name of it, Thanksgiving. For some, this day may mark the beginning of the hectic and chaotic holiday season. For others, it's that burning calories at a local turkey trot before vegging out in front of a television game, maybe watching a little bit of football. And for others, it's a day to gather with loved ones and share wholesome, hearty meals together, expressing gratitude for all we have. Well, whatever the day might mean to you, I wanted to pause now and share one takeaway that I think will change the way you step into this holiday and maybe will inform your life thereafter. Live Inspired community member Rana, she shared a Thanksgiving tradition in her family that she's been practicing for years. It inspired me. Years ago, Rana's family was, as she said, John, in desperate need of a gratitude injection. I like that term because I think many of us are in need of a gratitude injection. Well, with Thanksgiving right around the corner, she implemented a rule. If you want to gather for the feast, you must bring with you a written list of things, of people, of opportunities, and of blessings that today you are thankful for. It became, in their family, the meal ticket, so to speak, the meal ticket. You want to eat? Cool. Bring something that you are grateful for. Write it down, and we'll share it together. Rana shared that the first year, her oldest daughter, her name was Sarah, simply wrote, Hairspray, Mom. That was on her meal ticket. Now, you got to remember, it was in the 80s after all. So maybe that was the one thing that she was most grateful for, and she wasn't alone on that one. Every Thanksgiving, her oldest daughter, Sarah, would roll her eyes when this opportunity to come up with the meal ticket to write down a list of things they're grateful for would come along. And every year, she'd write down maybe one or two things. And then the youngest daughter, her name is Rebecca. She would read out pages of things, of people, of gifts, and of challenges that she was grateful for. Fast forward a decade, and that little grateful girl, name was Rebecca, seemingly with her entire life in front of her, was killed in an automobile accident. She was 21 years old when she lost her life. How do you possibly make sense of a tragedy like this? How can you possibly stay grateful for life one of, one of the most important pieces of that life is now missing. It is cut short. It has been taken away from that table. How do you stay grateful for this? Well, in this family, over the years, Rana had been sharing all of those lists of things that the girls were grateful for. Although Rebecca is no longer physically here, her passion for life, her joy for all she had, and her list of things she was grateful for are. And every year on Thanksgiving, I could emotional thinking about this. Every year on Thanksgiving, Rana pulls out those lists. She pulls back those meal tickets, and then she shares with the entire family what she's grateful for, including her life, her daughter's life, and the things that remain on that list even today. Rana shared with me a picture of one of those lists. I'll share it with you on social media. We'll share it in the show notes as well. She also shared with me, John, reading heartfelt gratitude 
is a feast that you can enjoy again and again and again. John, these lists from my daughter, they're treasures to me. They're treasures. My friends listening today on Thanksgiving here in the United States and around the world, will you join me in igniting this new tradition? It's a Thanksgiving tradition. I've taken all the guesswork and the planning out of it for you too. Visit the episode show notes, download and print off your meal ticket. I've printed them already for my family. I encourage you today to do the exact same rather than stepping right into those potatoes, that cold turkey, whatever else might be in front of you. Why not begin by making as a family, as friends, whether it's one, two, three gathered around the table or dozens seated around that table and around that house. Have everybody identify things, opportunities, gifts, relationships, challenges that they're grateful for today. And then before we pass the potatoes and the turkey, share the meal tickets, share that list, and then keep them for long-term use later on because it's a feast that you can return to again and again and again and again. Just ask Rana. However you are celebrating this day of thanks, take time today to pause, to recognize all the things, all the people, all the opportunities, and all the blessings that you're thankful for no matter how insignificant that hairspray may seem. As a nation, as nations, and as individuals, we need the reminder that although today things are far from perfect, there is reason for hope, there is reason for optimism, and there is reason for gratitude. What better way and what better day to celebrate this truth than this one? This is the day, Thanksgiving. My friends, today is your day. Share your gratitude with others and choose today and every day to live inspired. You know that Keeley Companies is all about fostering the world-class culture through their incredible cultural pillars. Well, it was time to add a seventh cultural pillar, Keeley Green. Guided by the mission to raise the sustainability standards by which they design, build, operate, and live, Keeley Green is dedicated to using a holistic approach to leave a positive impact on our environment, create a future that is sustainable for generations to come. In the words of Rusty Keeley, we are just getting started. You can learn more about that just getting started mentality and all the work they do by visiting my friends at Keeley Companies online at keeleycompanies.com.